which iconic figures are being created that will represent tennis in the new Centre Court Atrium at Wimbledon. Wimbledon Tennis Club or people from Wimbledon have been interested in my work, in not just in that I work figuratively, but the obvious association, I think, with nets and rackets. Chris Mather, who is the architect in charge of the project and really has designed the whole concept of Centre Court, has also been looking for the right venue. The brief I gave to myself, really, was to uh, somehow capture the spirit of tennis for Wimbledon. This is the action and the tension and the you know, bursts of um, athleticism and really that, that I needed to get that sense of movement and dynamism into the piece and there we can really make it, the characters um, play tennis in a sense. Yeah. Usually I start off with a few sketches, uh, working from photographs, <laughs> watching a bit of tennis, working on some Maquettes yeah. to work out how to do the racket mm -hmm. and look at how to do clothes, yeah. suggestion of clothes. So really this is fantastic material to work with for working out ideas because mm -hmm. I can literally move the positions yeah. in the material itself. So that's one of the benefits yeah. of uh, working with this medium is it's so flexible. Yeah. Once the ideas germinated and developed, begun to develop, I can let it grow through as I scale up. Yeah. It's just seven weeks before the sculpture is due to be installed. It's one of the biggest commissions David Begbie has ever undertaken. Today, Chris Mather, the architect of the new Centre Court, and representatives of the All England Lawn Tennis Club are coming to review progress and discuss the arrangements for the final work.